Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Rising a Buddhist Life. This is Nancy from the International Buddha Dharma Society for Cosmic Loyal America. It's a great honor to be here sharing the pilgrimage with you. How are you doing? Today is November 26th. Happy Thanksgiving! Today we will be in Kushinarga. It said that on the last day, the Buddha walked into groves of trees near Kushinarga. He ordained his last disciple and uttered last words. Rejoice at the blossoms of salsa trees, he laid himself to rest. Now we will go to Parinirvana Stupa and Parinirvana Temple, where the Buddha entered Nirvana. After that, we will go to Ramabar Stupa, where the Buddha was cremated. Are you ready? King Ashoka built a stupa and a pilgrimage site to mark the Buddha's Parinirvana in Kushinarga. The site was enlarged by a Hindu ruler later, and the temple was built. A reclining Buddha was enshrined inside the temple. The site was abandoned when it was invaded by Muslim army in the 13th century. All the Buddhist monks left. After that, the site decayed until, in the late 19th century, when the British archaeologist Alexander Cunningham rediscovered Kushinarga, the site has then become an important pilgrimage site for Buddhists. When being excavated, both the reclining Buddha statue and the temple were found scattered into numberless fragments. The statue was reconstructed and the temple was repaired. The 1500 years old Buddha statue a 6.1 meters long, laying on his right side, facing the west. The statue rests on a stone couch. On the front of the couch are three sculptures, probably three great disciples of the Buddha. The Buddha is loved. People coming to Kushinaga may become emotional and cry out. They would touch the Buddha's shoulder like a mother touching the child. The Buddha's clothes are changed frequently during the day. Again, circumambulate the Buddha statue and chant the name of the Buddha to pay homage to the Buddha, and then sit along the wall to meditate or recite some sutras. Meet the Buddha in the mind. Coming out of the temple, walk around on the side. Empty the mind. Time flows back. Maybe you may recall something that happened to you right here in the past. Maybe you would meet you in the past. One life after another, our appearance has changed many times. While deep inside, there's always something not changing. Where did you come from? Who did you come with? Why are you here? Where are you going? Where is your home? Are you in a dream? When are you going to wake up? Are you still going to drift in the sea of transmigration? Have you really truly forgot everything? Not far from the Parinirvana Stupa and Parinirvana Temple is the Ramabar Stupa. Ramabar Stupa was built on where the Buddha was cremated. The name may come from a nearby pond. It's a covering bow stupa made of bricks and mound. It's 55 feet in height and surrounded by many palm trees. Again, circumambulate the stupa and chant the name of the Buddha to pay homage to the Buddha. Leave time to walk around, meditate, or recite some sutras here. After visiting the Nirvana Temple, Nirvana Stupa, and Ramabar Stupa, we headed to Lumbini in Nepal. It's a long road. It took some time to get into Nepal at the border. Driving in the streets, watching the faces of the Indian people, get lost in time and space. Amitabha. 
Thank you for watching this video. Next time, we will be in Rumbaling, in Nepal, where the Buddha was born. And after that, we will stop by Kapiwastu, where the Buddha grew up. I'll see you next time. Bye.